Okay, so today's video is so shocking that I wish I was making it up. I've been traveling for 11 years in the church, preaching hundreds of churches, and I thought I've seen everything, but what we're gonna talk about, the story we're going over today is absolutely unbelievable. Now, many of you have seen the clips of drag queens teaching at uh, kindergarten or drag queens teaching at the library, or maybe a drag queen in a club or a nightclub somewhere. But what if I told you that there was a church hosting a drag queen to lead the church service? Yes, in South Carolina, there's a Lutheran church that is having an event, an event called Drag Me to Church. And it's about a drag queen leading worship and leading a church service. This is absolutely crazy. This is the hour that we're living in. It's clear that we are living in the last days. Um, I just think about Isaiah 520 that says, what sorrow awaits those who say that evil is good and good is evil, that dark is light and light is dark, that bitter is sweet and sweet is bitter. What sorrow awaits those who are wise in their own eyes and think themselves so clever. What sorrow awaits those who are heroes at drinking wine and boast about all the alcohol they can hold. What Isaiah is talking about is people that call what's absolutely wrong, like clearly wrong, clearly violate scripture against the word of God right, and those that stand up for holiness, righteousness, and what the word of God says are wrong. We are living in the day where we're wrong if we say, oh, a drag queen shouldn't be teaching a church service or teaching our preschoolers or teaching at the library. But in this video, we're gonna go over this article. And again, we're living the last days, let's talk about it. So here's the article, Drag Me to Church. South Carolina Church sponsors drag queen event with a unique style of worship. Let me just get your head around this. This is a church. This is the house of God. This is those that are supposed to be holy, ushering in the presence of God. A Christian Lutheran church called Trinity Lutheran is hosting a drag show. So let's look at the flyer here. Again, I wish I was making this up. I wish this wasn't a real story, but this is the reality of the day that we're living in. And we're going to keep exposing this stuff. This is the flyer of the church. A drag show at church, question mark. And then it's, I don't know what this says. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Thursday, May 12th, 7 p.m. in the gym, Trinity Lutheran Church. This is this year, by the way, 421 North Main Street, Greenville, South Carolina. Free, all are welcome. You see the little, you know, gay pride rainbow here and this all Trinity Lutheran Church, 1909. Drag me to church event featuring the lady. Okay, to be honest with you, I thought this was Lady Douche at first because I didn't realize how to pronounce this, but it's Lady Douche. And just look at this flyer. Okay, I'm, I'm telling you, the only thing that's going to make you dress like this, get up and act like this, is a demonic spirit. I'm just going to say, I know I'm going to be hated for this. I know people are going to flame me in the comments and rage on this. But there's no way that you're going to get up and dress like that unless it's a demonic spirit telling you to do that. This is a, this is a male dressing like this and running a church service. And sadly, this church is hosting this. And shame on this church. But let's look at the commentary here. So you say you've had enough when you saw that French teacher performing in drag for high school students in Middletown, Wisconsin. Well, get ready for more woke craziness, this time in a church. Trinity Lutheran Church of Greensville, South Carolina has announced a drag meet a church event. I can't even, I'm having a hard time reading this because it's so bizarre to me. Drag me to church. Like I never thought I'd see the word drag and church in the same sentence. Event featuring lady, it looks like it says douche, but it's douche because there's a little, you know, hyphenation or something above the E on the other pronunciations. But Lady Douche, well, it's not replacing. And this is what the church makes clear to say, okay? The church made it clear, hey, we're not replacing a regular Sunday service, okay? So if you guys were stressed out that we were replacing Sunday service with this, don't worry. And I'm saying that facetiously. Don't worry. We're still having a regular church service. We're just going to have this drag church service, this drag queen lead the church service on a Thursday evening. So if you're part of the Sunday morning church, don't stress. We're still going to have that in the sanctuary as normal. We're going to lift up holy hands to God. But on Thursday night, invite your children, invite your family to have a, a drag queen lead you in worship. So it says, well, it's not replacing a regular Sunday service as if it's any better. The church is still sponsoring this event on site scheduled for Thursday evening in the church gym. And this is real. I've researched this. It's not like a fake thing. This is on CBN news as well. I wonder if they'll open this gender-bending drag queen performance with prayer. The Trinity Lutheran Church Facebook page promises, you'll be endlessly entertained as the Lady Duche leads us through her unique style of worship, which includes as many laughs as it does amens. Okay, this is, this is, wait, what? Uh, hello, excuse me? Lady Duche leads us through her unique style of worship. It must be unique because it's a drag queen leading worship which includes as many laughs as it does amens. 
I don't know what we're laughing about because this is no joking matter. This is absolutely disturbing and disgusting for this ha to be happening in the church. I'm telling y'all, we're in the last days. I'm just saying, I know I say that a lot, but the announcement says that the drag show is about church, faith, and God's inclusive love. Of course, they're going to add God's inclusive love into that. Yes, folks, church needs to be inclusive, the, the article writer says. People from all walks of life, rich, poor, prostitutes, drunkards, and homosexuals should all be welcomed in. And I agree. Churches need to be a place where the gospel of Jesus Christ can change their lives, not where the change, not where they change the church to embrace worldly views, or worldly ways. And this is the essence of the gospel. Come as you are, but don't stay as you are. Jesus ate with sinners. He didn't party with sinners. He brought them and called them to repentance. So no, we don't become like the culture to try to change the culture. We become like the kingdom culture, a heavenly culture to change the culture. But sadly, the world is becoming like it. The church is becoming like the world to try to change the world. And this writer of this article says, Hebrews 13, 8 tells us that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's unchangeable. He never bends with the culture. Amen. No one can change Jesus or the life lessons he's given us. They remain forever. Folks, if this is how our churches are hoping to fill their pews after the pandemic, they're walking down the wrong path. Amen. Yes, God loves everyone, including drag queens, but he wants us to come into a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. It's not about being entertained by a drag queen or anyone else. Churches should be holy temples. Yes. We need the holiness of God back in the church. We need the power of God back in the church. We're, we're asking God, move in your church. And yet here we are, Christian Lutheran churches having drag. Okay, I wouldn't even call this sh church a Christian church if it's having drag queens. But this Lutheran church is now having a drag queen lead the church. How does a man dressed as a woman, strutting his stuff in a church, bring glory to God? Isn't it, isn't it really a slap in his face? Yes and yes. It's saying, God, you may be the creator of the universe, but when you created me, you made a mistake. I really like I'm a, I really like I'm a woman, not a man. And this is an article I'm reading here from CBN News. I didn't write this article, by the way. It's saying, but I agree with it. It's saying, I know better than God, so I'm creating myself in the image that I have for myself, not in the image of what God intends for me. Remember, Jesus overturned the tables of the money changers who conducted business in the temple. So how do you think he feels about drag shows in churches? Isn't this disrespecting his temple? Yes, yes, and yes. If you go read Isaiah 5, it talks about the judgment of God on those who thinks God's not going to judge them in the house of God. Yes, Jesus did hang with tax collectors and prostitutes, not because he approved of their actions, but because he wanted to build them up and transform their lives, show them the way, the way, the truth, and the life. He never condoned their sin. Amen. In fact, when the Pharisees were ready to stone a woman caught in adultery, Jesus said, let that person with the, without sin cast the first stone. We Christians should never cast stones at drag queens or anyone else. Amen. We too are sinners, but as followers of Jesus, we are called to be like him. And that means showing compassion by the people, for people by pointing the way to godliness in the church. So like Jesus told the woman, he did not condemn her for her sinful act of adultery. We need to remind Trinity Lutheran Church to go sin no more. I would have probably taken a harder stance on this whole situation than the writer of this article did. But guys, these are the hours and the days that we are living in where they're having drag shows in churches. I'm telling you right now, we need revival. We need awakening. Do we love drag queens? Yes. Do we love homosexuals? Yes. Now you might argue and say, well, I was born this way. And guys, I've preached for eight years in San Francisco. I, I've met my fair share. I've seen God radically change transgenders, drag queens, homosexuals, you name it. I've seen God transform them. And I've sat with homosexuals over and over and they say, Isaiah, I was born this way. And my response is, you won't be born again that way. I was born a liar. I was born a luster. I was born a cheater. I was born a thief, but I was born again, redeemed, renewed with a new nature. So it doesn't matter if you're a drug addict, an alcoholic, you're a liar, a thief, a blasphemer. The Bible says if you broke one of God's laws, you broke them all. When you're born again, you're born with a new nature. You're born in the spirit. That's what being born again, the old passes away. Behold, all things are new. So if you're watching this and you're homosexual or drag queen, you say, Isaiah, you're condemning me. No, I'm not condemning you. I'm saying you must be born again. You must be born again. When you're born again, you're not born again, a homosexual or a drag queen or transvestite. You're born with a new nature and God desires to do this. And I've also seen homosexuals get delivered. I've seen demonic spirits come out of them and their desires change after. There's deliverance available for you. There's a born again experience available for you. We have a map on our website. If you need to get delivered, you can find someone on our map to get delivered, to find someone to deliver you. But this is real. This is happening in our churches, happening in our culture. We need to stand for righteousness. 
We don't want to be popular. We want to be biblical. And we need to stand for biblical values. This is not okay. Drag shows in churches are not okay. It went from the clubs, the nightclubs, to the high schools, to teaching kindergartners at the library, to now the churches. And where do we draw the line? At what point does the church wake up, draw the line? It's not about uh, being popular. It's not about preaching what the culture wants us to preach. We need to stand up against sin. Jesus offended the world. He came to convict the world of righteousness and of their sin. So I'm telling you guys, the Holy Spirit is moving right now. Revival's happening right now. This is not okay. We can't tolerate this any longer. We need to pray against this. We need to pray for these people that God would open their eyes. This is not a Christian church. No Christian church would have a drag queen lead their church service. Let me know what you think, guys, in the comments down below. I'm going to keep bringing you stories like this. I'm going to keep blowing the trumpet and making you guys aware of what's going on. We need to pray. We need to have eyes to see, ears to hear. Get our head out of the sand. Make sure if you're not subscribed, you subscribe, comment, share, do what you guys do. Turn the bell on. Turn the notifications on. We'll see you guys in the next video.